What's up guys, Bizarre1000 here. Time to ask a question. CM Punk's DVD just dropped today. So, did you go buy it? Or did you not? Are you a CM Punk fan or not really? In recent events, is like, is CM Punk days of champion numbered? Is it getting, is this getting to be too much for CM Punk? Being the WWE champion. Can CM Punk contain, I mean, because he's went through a lot of stuff over the last, last year as champion. He's been going through, I mean, telling, calling a fan a faggot, telling Joe hang himself. Taking the dude's magazine and throwing it in the garage because he wanted an autograph. I mean, all this stuff CM Punk has been doing, and then last night, it was caught. It was caught on my... I didn't catch it at first. When I heard about it online, I looked at the video. Then I went back, and I caught it on my DVR. You could see it. It was for the world to see. Everyone is buzzing about this. The WWE... The guy even did, got interviewed saying that he punched CM Punk in the kidneys. He slapped him on the back. Okay, yes, maybe the WWE effed up here and put him, CM Punk in a spot where he shouldn't have been. Why was CM Punk in the crowd in the first place? But it's like CM Punk instigated this whole thing. He walked up there and pushed a kid. I mean, he, I mean, he knew the kid and he didn't, but he pushed the he pushed some kid in the crowd. Why was he even in the crowd? That's what I don't get. And then Mr. DeVito did something stupid, too. He ripped up some kid's sign, and then these kids, was the kids of some people who won some show, and they went on Twitter, and sure they called TMZ, and all that. They said, hey, this W wrestler, man, kid can cry, just sign up and everything, and yeah. But you know what? I don't know what to say about Punk, really, I mean... Dude, you complain that John Cena is on TV too damn much. You're sick of Cena. The WWE has given you the reins the last year. And you have done nothing but get in trouble after trouble after trouble with something stupid. Dude, is the pressure too much for you? Come on, CM Punk, you can't hit a fan. I tell you what, if you went anywhere else and you did something stupid like that, if you weren't up in Sacramento, California, if you were down in, let's say, like, you want to go some L.A., like, L.A., you were at the Staples Center, or you were at the freaking Detroit, if you were at the Joe, and you tried to do something like that, in Detroit, at the Joe, you push some Detroit fan, dude, you're not going to make it out of there. I'm just, I'm not trying to compare cities to who are more dangerous and violent, but he ran up there and pushed a kid, and then people were pushing him and hitting him and all that, and he complains about it. They say, oh, it wasn't CM Punk's fault. Well, CM Punk ran up there. He should have been in the crowd in the first place, so you're right, that was the WWE's fault. But he ran up there and pushed this kid out of the way. That's what I didn't like about it. I was like, dude, why are you pushing this kid? Maybe you knew him, but still, why are you pushing him? You're going up around a bunch of drunk people pushing somebody. I mean, I've been to these shows where you gotta deal with these annoying drunks. And they're freaking annoying. So, dude, I don't know. I just think it's kind of disrespectful for you to go up there and just basically deck a fan. I mean, maybe it is time for John Cena to take over again. That's my piece. Later.